It's July and I just saw my first back to school commercial and I'm already getting kind of stressed. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be talking about the iPad because school season is starting to roll around and I thought, why not share how I became really organized my second semester of college? So this video is definitely not just for college students. It could definitely be of use to high school students. I'm gonna be talking about how I use my iPad for education, how I take notes on it, how I do graphic design art on it, and how I basically just use it as like my main device for school. I'll also be talking about the Apple Pencil because in my opinion, if you're gonna get the iPad, you should definitely get the Apple Pencil because Apple designed this specifically for the iPad Pro and it works really well. Okay, so before we get started with the main part of this video, if you're new here, definitely go and subscribe to my channel because this video is kind of on the serious side, but I make lots of awesome, funny content in my other videos. So definitely go check those out. And if you subscribe, you'll be updated with new videos from me. So this iPad has really helped me a lot with organization and how much stuff I carry around campus. The fall semester of my freshman year in college, I literally carried around so many books to all my classes. My backpack was so heavy, it was literally like weighing me down. And I thought there has to be a better way to go about this because I don't need to be carrying around like five books. So I did a little research and I came across the iPad Pro and it honestly looked very intriguing to me. So I did more research into it and I decided to get it. So I went from all of these books in my backpack fall semester to the single thin, very light iPad Pro. Literally all those books all in this one iPad. I honestly think this was like one of the best investments I've made into college because this thing is a powerhouse. I take my notes on here. I can take photos on here. Yeah, this thing has like a pretty good camera. I do lots of art on here because I'm kind of into drawing and stuff. Obviously I have to take those study breaks so I watch a lot of TV on here. And it's basically just such a great all around device. So now I'm gonna switch to the iPad and show you guys how I use this thing. So before we get started with the iPad itself, I thought I'd talk about the accessories I have on this. So this is the case I have. It's this like navy blue color. And I did not get a case from Apple because they're really expensive. But this one is pretty similar because it's one of those where you open it up and it turns on. And one thing that the Apple cases don't have is this holder for the Apple Pencil. That's one of the biggest pet peeves is that you never know where to put this thing. So why not get a case that has this included? On the back, you just push it out and you have it. Now, opening it up, I have a screen protector on here and it's kind of like a matte screen protector. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Here, if it's off, you can see it. It's a matte screen protector and basically what this does is it gives it like a really smooth feel to it and it almost feels as if it's paper. So that's kind of perfect if you're using this thing for notes because writing on this feels very similar to writing on paper. Also, I'd like to note that I have the 12.9 inch iPad because I thought this was a perfect size for taking notes because looking at my old school folder here, it's basically the same size. So you're getting all that screen space to take your notes just like you'd be working in your notebook. So let's just turn on the iPad with the fingerprint and this is my home page. For the home page, I just like to keep the apps how they are when I first get the iPad. I don't know, that's kind of just how I do with all my Apple products. And then the second page, I have all my other apps. Now down here on this bar at the bottom, it stays wherever you are and I just have the apps that I use most often. So here I have messages, I have Safari, I have Gmail and regular mail, I have YouTube, Spotify, Autodesk Sketchbook, which is a type of drawing app, and then I have Notability, which is the main notes app that I use. So let's just get started with Notability since this is the main app that I use. It's kind of pricey at I think around $10, but it's completely worth it because it has so many great features that help keep your notes organized and highly efficient. So up here, I have all my different notes for my different classes. I've used my iPad for one semester and a summer term, but for my spring semester, I had an environmental design class, a math class, physics class, and an introductory engineering class. 
These are basically the classes you take going into freshman engineering. So clearly you can see I had more notes for math and physics than I did for the other two. So let's just go into one of these. Let's choose physics. Here you can see I have all my notes split up into chapters and the different types of notes. So looking more closely, I have chapter four mastering. This is basically the homework for chapter four. Then I have supplemental practice, which is extra practice problems. And then I have Newton's law of motion. So this is basically the actual notes themselves from the class. So I do this for all the different chapters to keep everything organized. Now let's go into one of these. Let's choose chapter five. So here I have my actual notes themselves. I have everything written in white and then I have some detailing in blue, but up here you can see there's so many different colors that you can choose from and also pen sizes. And let me tell you, the pen is so smooth. The Apple Pencil is 100% worth it. There's no lag. It feels like you're writing directly onto the iPad with no barrier in between. You also have a highlighter here with also the different colors and different sizes. And you can just highlight stuff with this like that. Here's the undo button if you want to undo. Also, if you draw stuff, you have this eraser up here. You just have to swipe over it to erase it. And then you have the scissor icon. So what this does is you just circle whatever you want to cut and now you can move it to wherever you want. So this is perfect if you make a mistake or you don't have room to write something, you can just cut it out and re-put it into a different spot later on. Also with the background, if you go up here and you choose paper, you have all the different options to change what kind of background you have. I personally have it set to the dark background because I like to keep everything dark, kind of moody because that's just how I am. But you can have like dark blue, light pink, the classic white paper, green, basically anything. But I like to keep it on this. And then over here, you can change the background type of design that you have. So mine is a grid and you can change the size of the grid or you can have regular lined paper, have it wide ruled or like college ruled, and then you can just have a blank background. But my default is to have it on a grid so I can focus on drawing these free body diagrams correctly. Now, what sets Notability apart from so many other notes apps is this right here. So while you're taking notes in class, you tap this microphone and it records the voice lecture from your professor while you're writing everything down. So if I go over here and I press play, you can hear everything he's saying. And if you go throughout the whole thing, it tells you what the professor is saying while you're writing stuff down, which is very helpful when you're trying to go back through your notes and you don't understand something or you think you wrote something wrong. You just listen over to the lecture and see what the professor is saying at that moment. So that's basically it for the physics section. I wanna show you one more thing. Let's go to calculus. And here I have the setup pretty much the same, except in calculus we name these sections instead of chapters. So I have sections and then I have the web assign, which is the homework for each section. So let's just choose a section. Here you can see it's white. And that's because these are notes given to me by my professor. So if your professor provides you notes on their website, you can share it to Notability and you have it already here and you can just write in under the problems and do all your work on here. Also, if you're ever looking through your notes and you want to refer back to a note, but you don't want to keep switching back and forth, you just swipe here and you can find all your previously used notes over here. Okay, so one last thing I wanna tell you guys about Notability is over here in the settings, you can actually link your Notability app to Google Drive. So anytime you make a new note, you edit a note or whatever, it automatically uploads that note to your Google Drive so it's always backed up. This is also helpful if you wanna do homework on your computer and you wanna look through your notes but you don't wanna pull out your iPad, you just go to your Google Drive on your computer and you have all your notes there. So now I just wanna talk about a few other apps that I use. For example, if you're doing engineering, you're probably gonna use MATLAB and MATLAB actually has a mobile app. Now, I don't have it connected right now because you need a computer to connect it, but you can do all your programming on your iPad as well. Also, I have a lot of study sets on Quizlet. I use this for so many classes to 
help me memorize things and just learn topics. So this is really helpful. I also have my Google Drive to link any documents that I need or also do anything with my notes, try and edit how it's set up in there. And those are basically the powerhouse apps that I use for college. Those help me get everything done. I feel super organized with this and I just feel like all my studying is really efficient. So now I just want to quickly touch on some drawing apps that I use because I'm kind of into drawing and graphic design and whatnot. So my two favorite apps are Adobe Sketch and Autodesk Sketchbook. So for Autodesk Sketchbook, first of all, it's a free app, but there's a premium version. However, if you're a student, you can get three years of the premium version for free. So I definitely take advantage of that. So this app, I basically do all my drawing on. I just design stuff like here's a random t-shirt design I have, maybe possibly some merch that I have in the future, hint, hint. And I just really like drawing on this thing. It has so many different pens, lots of different brushes you can use in the premium version. The free version doesn't have as many, obviously. And then all these different colors and there's so much stuff you can do with this. I love it. And then let's take a look at Adobe Sketch. So this one's a little different. I don't really use it for drawing. What I really like about this one is that it has a lot of watercolor capabilities. The watercolor on here is so amazing. It's very realistic. So let's just go into this one for example. It's just this kind of like church tower thing I drew and then I watercolored over it. And let me just choose a watercolor brush. And if you, let's choose a nicer color. Themes, let's just choose a blue. And you just draw over it like this. And I don't know if you can see that, but it like flows outward. So let me get another color like this. And then we'll just layer it and see how it expands. The watercolors on this are so realistic and I just love using these. Now the final thing I want to talk about is the camera. Surprisingly, the iPad has actually a pretty good camera. So let me just click into that and my case is covering it. But as you can see, I'm like inches away from the carpet and it's focusing on it. It's so clear and crisp. Let me just take a photo and go into it. It's so sharp and it honestly surprised me when I first used this because I didn't think that an iPad could take good photos, but this actually takes really good pictures. So if you're into that, you might look a little stupid taking pictures with your iPad, but the pictures turn out really good. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really had fun making it and I hope you guys consider getting an iPad for school because it's such a good tool to use and it keeps you so organized. I definitely recommend it because I love using this thing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe because clearly you can see I make lots of other awesome content. I have been getting lots of good feedback recently, so check out my other videos. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below any questions you have the iPad. I'd be happy to answer them because I think you guys should really look into this. And that's basically it, so I'll see you guys next week. Peace.